Thai Prime Minister Chuan Leek Pai is a modest man. He lives in an average house in Bangkok and travels between functions by van rather than limousine. He's been described as a man of the people. But Chuan is no average politician. He's been premier twice and as a minister has held almost every government portfolio. Susan Yu reports. Thai politics. Many see it as about as stable as the country's currency. Since 1945, there have been 17 military coups, and in the past decade, seven prime ministers have come and gone. With that in mind, Chuan Lik Pai seems to have beaten the odds, becoming the country's prime minister in 1992, and then again in 1997. He rose to the upper ranks of the Democratic Party, Thailand's oldest political group, as a man of the people. It's no wonder when you find out Chuan is terribly proud of his humble past. The 62-year-old openly talks about his impoverished childhood. I am not ashamed to tell you that when I was very young, I was just another provincial child. And we had even no clothes to wear. And even in primary school, we wore no shoes. Since then, Chuan has been able to walk tall and walk into uncharted territory for Thailand. He had the unenviable task of seeing the country through the darkest days of the economic crisis when it first hit in July 1997. With the International Monetary Fund's whopping 17 billion U.S. dollar bailout hanging over the country, it was necessary for Thais to go through tough austerity measures to try and pay for the loan. With workers protesting layoffs, like these bank employees here in 1998, Chuan made his mark as the caring head of state, appearing at demonstrations when people least expected him to. Many Thais saw Chuan as the epitome of good governance. So it's not hard to understand why. Wherever the prime minister goes, there are your occasional autograph hunters. No one can seem to remember the last time a Thai prime minister's signature was in demand. And by the way, don't forget his sketches. Chuan is known to doodle sporadically, even at regional and international conferences. Don't be fooled, though. He's no dilettante. Chuan earned a certificate in painting and sculpture from Supa Korn Pre University before attending Thammasat University in 1962. It was there he later earned his law degree. As he practiced law, Chuan also became a member of parliament, but that was just the start. During his political career, he's been the minister of justice, education, commerce, agriculture and cooperatives, public health, and finally, prime minister in 1992. Chuan's first government fell in 1995 over a land scandal in Phuket. Despite this black mark for confidence in the government and the Democratic Party, Chuan survived the scandal virtually unscathed. He returned to Thailand's top job in November 1997, becoming prime minister and also the minister of defense. Till this day, Chuan is known for his fight for the rights of the ordinary people. So it should come as no surprise that he's been trying to lead by example. Forget the limousines and entourage of bodyguards. Chuan's preferred mode of travel is light. Getting around town in a simple minivan with a small motorcade or even cycling to work. How many heads of state would allow their countrymen to directly contact them through a hotline and in cyberspace. And then there's his two-story house in a modest neighborhood in the capital. Well, wishers often gather here. Nice to meet you. Okay. Access has been the name of Tuan's game, and he doesn't mind showing it, allowing the media to see him carry out his fatherly duties with his 12-year-old son, Sarabot. Tuan's roots have fascinated ties. As testimony, his hometown and even his 88-year-old mother have become serious tourist attractions. Mei Tuan, or Mother Tuan, is revered here in the Muang district of Trang province, Tuan's birthplace. The Orthodox Buddhist is respectful of his past and has made it a priority 
to protect the future, whether it's preserving Thailand's delicate teak forests, to uprooting something that has become so ingrained in Thai politics, corruption. And after the break, Susan Yu talks to Chuan Leek Pai about the drugs problem in Southeast Asia, Thailand's role in the region, and the forthcoming elections. Stay with us.